Hi guys, welcome back to a new video on the channel. Wow, it's been so long since I filmed a sit down video like this. I feel like it's been ages, but I'm so happy to finally be filming this specific video because I've been wanting to do this for a few weeks now. So I usually film my current favorites pretty regularly. So this time I wanted to do a summer edition current favorites, but also wanted to share things that I think are a must have for the summertime in terms of fashion, beauty, products, skincare, makeup, uh, outfits and clothes, accessories, and also lifestyle items. Just things I think would elevate your summer in terms of style and beauty and just things I personally cannot live without the summer. So like I said, we have a mix of fashion, beauty, lifestyle. I have a lot of things to show you, so we're just gonna get right into this video. And if you're new to the channel, hi, welcome. I am Stephanie Rose, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, and thumbs up this video for more. Everything that I mention in this video will be linked in the description, so definitely go check it out and follow me on my social and also check out my Amazon storefront. A lot of the things that I'm mentioning in this video will be from Amazon. We love Amazon in this channel. So stay tuned to see my current summer favorites and must have items for the summertime. So I will start off with the first thing that I think is pretty essential for the summertime. If you go to the pool or the beach often, you definitely need some type of beach pool tote. I just picked this one up from Amazon. I think it is so adorable. I love the like um, I don't know, what do you call this? A bag with holes. I just love that style and I love the color and it's so nice and big. It's a really good size. I already have my towel in here and it fits really well. So the bottom is a nylon material so it'll be waterproof and you know the bottom won't get all soaked and everything. The handles and the trimming of the bag are also nylon. It seems pretty sturdy. I haven't actually put it in use yet because I just got it but I'm very excited to take it with me to the pool. If you guys watch my vlogs regularly, I go to the pool very often. It also has a front pocket here, if you can see. The pocket is also nylon, and I just have my sunscreen and tanning oil in there for now, but just so easy to drape over your shoulder. I think it'll look cute with all of your pool and beach and summertime outfits. And honestly, this isn't even just a pool bag. You can use this anywhere. I feel like it's a nice shopping tote and just a really cute summer tote in general. Okay, so since we're on the topic of pool and beach in this bag, a pool towel obviously is essential and I love this one. If you're a neutral girl, this towel will be for you. It is white and beige striped. So this one is also from Amazon. I got this last summer, but this is the only towel I use. I have like a couple other towels, but this one is my favorite. Is it possible to have a favorite pool towel? I don't know, but I do. I have a few clothing items that I think are so cute and essential for summertime. So first of all, sets of any kind are my favorite in the summertime because it's just so quick and easy to put on and you don't have to think about pairing a shirt and shorts or what top, what pants should I wear together? Sets are just boom, here's your outfit, there you go. You don't have to think about it. So I love linen in the summer times. This isn't real linen, I don't think. I think this is cotton, but it kind of has the look of linen. So I got this set from Amazon. It is a button down shirt and shorts set. I just love the blue striped. Honestly, they look like pajamas, but also I feel like they look like summertime in the Hamptons or something like that. They also had other colors and styles and designs from this uh, specific seller that I bought from, but I love it. I just think it's so effortless and really cool in the summertime, and I just think it's such a cute look. I love button downs. That's another thing that is an essential for summertime for me is any type of button down, especially white button downs. I just love to throw them over a tank top or my bikini top, you can literally throw it over anything. A white button down shirt is equivalent to a black leather blazer in the winter time for me, so essential. Also, my must have for the summertime are active dresses. I'm going through this phase where I'm so obsessed with active dresses and basically, if you don't know what these are, these are just like um, dresses that you would wear to work out, like to play tennis or sports in, golf, and they have built-in spandex shorts so yeah, you can be active in them, but I just like to wear these for everyday use, just going out, even dressing up. You can dress them up or down. It literally just looks like a plain black dress, right? Like a little black dress. And it's stretchy, it is just so comfortable, and the back is racer back. I love to wear these with my white oversized shirts or just on its own. So essential for summertime. And then the last clothing article that I'll mention. So um, kind of a mix of the active wear and the sets. I absolutely am obsessed with this set. It is a sports bra and biker short set. Here's the sports bra. I love 
the ribbed detailing of this one. So pretty. I also love the cutout. And they are so strong. This material is really like durable, like holds everything in and kind of sucks everything in. And I love that. And then these are biker shorts. And yeah, so I wear these for working out in when I'm riding my Peloton, when I'm doing yoga or Pilates, and also just wearing for every day. Like I literally will wear this with again, a white button up shirt. So that's kind of like my uniform of the summertime sets and white button up shirts. Okay, sticking to fashion, I have a few shoes that I wanted to mention. And the first are these pillow slides that are starting to get really worn out because I'm so serious when I say I wear these every single day. I got these at Walmart for about $12. They just look good with literally any outfit and I wear these all the time anywhere. I wear these to the pool. I wear these to go grocery shopping. I wear these to go get a car wash, like anywhere I go. Um, it's just quick and easy to put on and they go good with any outfit, honestly. So cute. This might not be for everyone, but I have also been loving platforms for the summertime. These are extremely tall, as you can tell, but they're really comfortable. I wore these when I went to Miami a few weeks ago and they looked so cute pretty much with any outfit I put together. And also they're comfy. I mean, I know they're really tall, but because it's so tall here like it kind of wasn't as elevated as it looks but i love these i got these from ego shoes they have all sorts of colors i know this is like a huge trend that's probably going to go out of style by next summer but these were so cheap i think i got these for like 30 dollars, and i got like a coupon they were on sale i just really loved how they looked and i thought they were so fun and these are really big for this summertime but if you are not into shoes that are that tall and platformy i have also been loving these Steve Madden, I forgot what the name of it is called, but these are the ones that were big in like the late 90s, early 2000s that all of us had. I definitely had these when I was a little girl and I can't believe they're back in style. So I have been loving these. I wear these also like with pretty much any outfit they look good in. The only thing is when you walk, they like slap so hard against your foot and it makes a loud noise. I personally don't care, but if you're uh, con self-conscious about the noises that your shoes make, that might be something to consider. Also, these run very, very, very small. I am a size eight to eight and a half, usually like eight and a half for the most part. And I had to get these in a size 10. That's the only thing that's like annoying. But once I got the sizing right, I, I love them. Summertime, you need sunglasses. I've recently been obsessed with collecting sunglasses, both designers and just non-regular designers. So I have a good mix of them. So some honorable mentions because I have so many. I had to pick which ones I wanted to feature. I love this set of sunglasses. It came in a pair from Amazon and I think they're so trendy and stylish. I actually got this like, I think it was either last summer or two summers ago. So, you know, this type of style is still popular and I think they look so cute with any outfit. Love these aviators again from Amazon or actually no, these are from Nordstrom. I lied. These are from Nordstrom. I got these just a few months ago, but you know, I love the retro 70s aviator look with the colored lenses. My last favorite, these I just picked up and these are a designer pair. These are the Prada ones that have recently gotten popular, but I absolutely love these. I know these are the same style as this, but I just really, really was eyeing these for so long and I wanted to splurge and treat myself this summer. When do I not treat myself? But yeah, I think you just need a pair of your favorite sunglasses. Okay, so another bag accessory I wanted to mention, I have mentioned this probably a million times on all of my platforms, but this is the Lululemon Everywhere belt bag or everyday belt bag. I think it's the Everywhere belt bag. I wear this everywhere. This is my everyday bag. Like I have, you know, a lot of bags that I only wear on occasion, but this one is like everyday use. And I love wearing it as like a crossbody, kind of like this. It really holds a lot, surprisingly. Like it looks small, but you can fit a lot in here. So it has like two mesh pockets on this side. It has one big one on this side and really it does hold a lot. So I also like to use this when I go on my walks or my hikes because it's not like a bag that I really care about messing up. Like if I sweat with this bag or get stains on it, it's no big deal, it's $38. They do have this on Amazon too for like 20-ish dollars if you wanna save some money, but I love this one. So moving on to the beauty products, I have some makeup products that I wanted to mention. So the first essential beauty product for the summertime, you need to have sunblock and SPF, and also SPF for your face. So this is the Summer Fridays 
shade drops broad spectrum SPF 30 mineral milk sunscreen this is a new item and not only is it an SPF it also is meant to like kind of hydrate your face it's made with some vitamins and antioxidants and soothing chamomile it's also reef friendly so you can wear it in the ocean and it leaves your skin soft and smooth and also it's really lightweight I don't really like the SPFs that kind of leave that white residue that's really thick and takes a while to like rub in and like blend out this one is just easy to apply it doesn't leave any residue you don't have to like work hard to blend it in it's just so lightweight and it also smells really good this I've mentioned before in a few videos this is a lip oil what brand is this RK by kiss I think is the brand I have these lying all over the place this one is brand new but yeah this is from Amazon these cost three dollars for like a pack of three or something around that this is the most moisturizing thing on my lips in the summertime my lips get extra dry because like I have sun you know when I tan my lips get dry too so this really helps hydrate my lips keeps them nice and soft and smooth I have a couple of new products that I just picked up I'm all about liquid makeup products for summertime so I got the rare beauty liquid blush this is in the color joy it's a beautiful coral color oh my gosh it is so pretty it really brings out the high points of your face that's what it looks like blended in and then my other liquid favorite is the say illuminating star glow glowy super gel it's like a liquid highlighter so I got this specifically because I wanted to focus on the high points of my face like my forehead cheekbones my nose to give me kind of like that dewy glowy look that we all like to have in the summertime so there's that and what I like about this is that it is not too much like there are some highlighters I use that are just way too shiny and glittery this one is really subtle it's not that glittery but it still does give like that shine so it kind of looks like a natural glow when it's on your face I have also been loving this blush I think this is such a gorgeous color I'm wearing this blush right now I don't know if the camera's picking it up but this is from Kylie Cosmetics this is winter what is this called winter kiss yeah winter kiss so maybe this is a winter color but I like to use this in the summertime because I really love that like really bright bright pink look that you see a lot of celebrities on like Instagram they have that like really pink like pale pink um, look on their cheeks I love that look I have some fragrances I wanted to mention so the first is the Versace Dylan turquoise I got this either last summer or the summer before that but I think this is such a really nice scent for the summertime it really smells like turquoise waters or um, like a really exotic beach and I don't know I just think it smells so so good keynotes are lemon essence guava and musk so it is kind of musky but it's also in the floral scent family and I just like the packaging the like crystal blue color reminds me of the clear ocean blue waters and this really reminds me of like an Italian summer it also says the bottle denotes a constant desire for summer so yeah this is just a really gorgeous scent that I always use every single summer. This is a new scent that I recently picked up from Sephora. I think it's pronounced Abbott. This is the Crescent Beach scent, obviously a nice beachy scent. Oh my God, it honestly kind of reminds me of the um, Abercrombie one. You know the Abercrombie scent in the 2000s, but not exactly like it. It kind of just, I don't know, for some reason reminds me of it. But this definitely smells like a really like clean beach. And this is in the floral scent family. I love my floral perfumes. That's my favorite family of scents. And the description of this is a floral amber and oceanic clean perfume inspired by summer spent along the flowers and breezes in the New York Hamptons. Wouldn't we all love to spend summer in the Hamptons? I have some skincare must-haves for the summertime. You need a really good lotion in the summertime because when you're out in the sun, the sun will dry your skin out. I feel like even though winter is dry, my skin gets more dry in the summertime. Maybe that's just me. I have overall dry skin in general. But anyway, so I've been loving this lotion. This is the Cetaphil Daily Advanced Lotion with shea butter it nourishes for 24 hours and it's also for dry sensitive skin so if you have dry sensitive skin like me this one is perfect i really love this brand it's dermatologist recommended so this is my everyday lotion when i shower just every single day especially when i get out of the pool i use this along with the nasser serum body serum i've shown that everywhere in all my videos you need a good a good lotion for summertime so this is tend skin this i think is very necessary for summertime this helps to reduce the appearance of razor bumps ingrown hairs and redness from shaving and waxing and for men you can use it for your face and for your neck when you shave so basically if you want to prevent like razor bumps and strawberry is that what they call it strawberry skin you would just use this you put it on a cotton ball and dab it on your skin and it helps reduce ingrown hairs and all that really annoying stuff 
in the summertime so you can have smooth, smooth legs. So speaking of shaving, I have been loving this shaving cream. This is from Truly. It is the Coco Cloud Whipped Shave Butter. I feel like out of all the shaving creams I've ever used, this one has been the best and literally like, look, it's almost done. It's so soft on the skin and it really helps to get a close shave for me. So this has been a must have for me for shaving in the summer. Last skincare must have for the summertime is some type of vitamin C serum. The summertime is when you wanna have really bright and glowy skin and this helps contribute to that. This is the Beauty Counter all bright C serum it's just a vitamin C serum but it's made with two types of vitamin C it's also made with turmeric and it's just overall brightens your face up makes it smooth and soft and I'm all about having a bright complexion and skin tone because I don't wear makeup that often in the summertime this is probably the first time I'm wearing makeup in like a month I like to go all natural I like to have a nice tanned face natural tan face and a very moisturized hydrated and bright looking complexion and this helps contribute to that so rounding up this video we're going to go in with my must-have lifestyle items for the summertime you guys need to have some summer reads so I have not been really good at reading books this summer because I was sick for like three weeks and I've just been so busy working so I'm really really trying to prioritize reading like from here on out but I picked up this book recently this is called hello summer I started this and I like it. I, it's just like a nice easy read for the beach or for the pool. I love reading by the pool. So this has been a book that I have been reading recently. And also wanted to mention Colleen Hoover. I've been talking about her for the past like five months, but she really is one of my favorite authors at the moment. And I'm loving all of her books. I am also reading. I don't know why sometimes I read two books at once. Does anyone else do that? Like they start to read one book and then they want to read another book and they kind of like go back and forth. Um, I don't do that often, but I'm doing that right now with these two books. This one is called Heart Bones. I really want to read Reminders of Him. That's the next one I'm, I've am i been trying to get my hands on. So that's going to be my next read after I'm done with these two. And my last must-have for the summertime, I can't show you guys because it would melt if I brought it out here, but they are ice cubes. I don't know why I have a fascination with cool shaped ice cube mold trays. So I have a lot of different ones I have, and I'm gonna insert clips so you guys can see. I have the really teeny tiny ones, like, you know, the Chick-fil-A ice that is like crushed, like the really small, cute ones. I have a tray mold for that. That one is from Target. And then I also have a really big one, those big like cubed ones. And I like to make my like fruit ice cubes with that. I like to put like strawberries, blueberries, mint. Those would also be good if you drink whiskeys and you want to put like a big cube in, in your drink, something like that. And then my favorite one, my favorite ice tray mold. I can't believe I'm sitting here talking about ice trays. Um, This one is a round sphere one. It's just like balls of ice. I don't know why I love this shape. I love to put these in my iced coffees, my like juices, my drinks in general. I just think ice cube molds are so essential for the summertime because we're drinking all of our margaritas, our virgin cocktails. I haven't been drinking that often actually this summer surprisingly, but you know, the summer is the time when we wanna put ice in our drinks. So you gotta have some ice tray molds, whatever shape or size you prefer, Amazon, Target, anywhere you go, they have ice tray molds. Okay, you guys, so that is all for my summer must have essentials and and favorites so like I said everything will be linked in my description let me know in the comments what your summer essential is it could be anything lifestyle beauty fashion um, literally anything let me know in the comments what is one thing you can't live without in the summertime thank you guys so much for watching I will catch you guys in my next video